A glowing neon blue sun rotates against the blackness of space. Eddies of gas slowly churn across its surface. the sun is replaced by the view through a round screen. The blue swirling eddies resolve into waves and swells on open water. Ribbons of tiny white bubbles resembling veins in mottled marble float on the surface of the heaving water. Chunks of blue ice float past the circle. Slush and small ice flows bob along the surface of the undulating water. A flash of bright light washes over the view and a jagged iceberg floats by. Tiny seabird flies past massive cliffs of pale blue ice that mark the edge of a tall glacial shelf. A nearby iceberg floats between the cliffs. Ice flows rest on still water, backed by a snow-capped mountain hidden in white mist. distant figure approaches along a flat icy plain, backed by bands of blue sky and misty clouds. The dark-clad figure steadily advances, with an object slung over one shoulder. Behind the figure, 
a tiny white bird zips across the sky. Several other birds follow, skirting the snowy horizon. The unwavering figure draws nearer. Silver strips of reflective material ring the forearms and shins of her dark hooded snowsuit. With fur lining her hood and a rifle slung over her shoulder, the figure continues to approach. approaching figure fills the round screen. She continues to advance, then walks past us on our right. Soft pink and yellow light flickers, revealing a snowy blue-tinted mountain top. A bird zips by. The light flickers again, and we zoom out on the mountaintop. Several more birds fly by. The mountaintop is spied from a distance, and two birds fly past in slow motion. Evening falls, and birds fly through a rose-colored sky in slow motion. Birds fly in all directions, crossing a bright blue sky. With their black crowns, pointy red beaks, and fanned out tail feathers, the birds stare down as they flap their wings. One squawks silently as it flies. The camera follows. It flies past a fellow arctic tern, constantly flapping its pointed wings.
it flies away. The screen points directly at the sun, creating flares. A bird soars by, the sharp feathers in its wings near translucent in the brilliant sun. The bird looks down and dives from view. Another bird is spotted, then slips away. Our round view scans the sky. We spot a gliding turn and try to keep it in our view. It soars away. Above the ocean down below, distant turns fly by. The ocean horizon appears vertically in our round view. Birds fly up and down, many skimming the surface of the water. The flapping wings of the nearby birds are readily discernible, but the birds in the distance appear no larger than specks. A bird zips right past the view. Long sheets of icy blue water pour down channels on a frozen cliff. Churning, frothy water courses past our view. Two terns flap their wings and bite each other on the rippling surface of a dark pool of water. One turn begins to dominate, forcing the other underwater. Another bird enters the fray, and the pecking abruptly stops. All three terns fly away. Elsewhere, in slow motion, a woman in black rolls about in tall green grass. She lies on her back, eyes closed, as the surrounding grass flaps in the breeze. Keeping her eyes closed, 
She rolls to a stop and lies on her back with a shelf of drooping grass swaying overhead. Around the flattened patch, the tall green grass ripples in the breeze. Elsewhere, runny gray mud burps and bubbles, creating dissipating craters, splashes, and ripples. slow-motion tide rolls back and forth over bright green seagrass. Waves of tall grass ripple in the breeze. A bird soars past our round view. of thick green grass sways in the wind as a turn flies overhead. In a patch of dry grass, an arctic turn lands on a spotted egg. Nearby, two downy chicks toddle about with their orange beaks wide open. A tern swoops in to feed one of the chicks, passing a morsel from beak to beak. In the sky, a tern flies toward us. Its head remains still while its wings flap in slow motion. It flies away. A tern dives toward open water. Another flies nearby, watching the choppy surface. The bird continues to scan the water. A figure wades through calm, waist-deep water. Elsewhere, choppy water stretches to the horizon. A grassy field stretches to the horizon. A figure crosses the field from our left to our right. Our view follows the figure, keeping them in the center. The figure leaves the field and enters a different scene, crossing a rocky landscape silhouetted by a lavender sky. The figure exits the scene with the lavender sky and enters a new rocky landscape with a band of grey water stretching across the horizon. They walk out of that scene 
and into a new one, crossing a mossy horizon. The figure strides into a green field of knee-high grass, backed by white clouds and a blue sky. cautiously advance across the difficult terrain. The figure lurches forward, then pauses before climbing onto a boulder. They climb down off the boulder and jump into a new scene. Now dressed in a bright red jacket, the figure walks across a grassy field backed by a clear blue sky. stops following the figure, who walks off across the horizon. Soft red light flashes. In the dark, birds skim the surface of a calm body of water. Our view is a blue evening sky. The moon slowly enters the left side of our view as it creeps across the sky. Wispy clouds pass in front of the three-quarter moon. As they pass, the clouds momentarily eclipse the slow-moving moon. Clouds grow thicker as the moon inches toward the right edge of our view. across the sky, passing in front of the gleaming sun. Sunspots flare.
the soaring tern looks directly at us. It turns away and continues flying. Lights flicker into darkness.